Hi you guys, are you in need of a sewing friend to hang out? I will volunteer. That's what these Let's Chat videos are all about and honestly they are one of my favorite videos to do because I feel like we are hanging out as friends and we are catching up as we would if we were in real life as well. Before we get into it though, please make sure that you're subscribed. I cannot tell you how many people think they're subscribed to this channel and they are not. So just double check and make sure that um, that little red button is now gray. I think it turns gray. And if you're new here, I'm Lindsay. Hello. Introduce yourself in the comments section below. But I share my love of sewing here on this YouTube channel. All right. So I feel like I can't really bury the lead any longer. You guys know Honey. This is our, what, 10 month old Morky. Um, we just got her earlier this year after putting my Sonny down, who was like 14. Um, we put him down last year and then we got Honey and she's such a sweetheart. And so we had to get her little sister. So introducing Biscuit. Hi, Biscuit. Um, Biscuit is a Yorkie. We got her from the same place that we got Honey. She has been, it's just so interesting. Dog moms of two or more, uh, human moms of two or more, you guys know that like, it's just so interesting how different their personalities can be. Even though Honey is a mix that she has Yorkie in her, they are still so, so different. As you can see, Honey could not stay in my arms for longer than two seconds, but Biscuit is ready to fall asleep. <laughs> She's just so cuddly, so sweet. She just wants to lay around, lay with me and be with me all the time. She's been a great playmate for Honey. They play together all the time. Sometimes I'm like, you guys like each other, right? Like this is good play fighting because it gets, it gets pretty aggressive. They are very, very possessive over the toy that they have and the other one always wants the toy that they don't have <laughs> that's just inevitably how it works but it's been really really great having her and as you can tell she's just such a sweetie so i'm i was happy to introduce her to you guys formally i know a lot of you eagle eyes saw her kind of running around my feet in the make it monday video um with the chambray jumpsuit and I bet a lot of you were like, wait, what? Does she have a second dog? Yep, we went ahead and got a second one. I think we always wanted to have two within a year so they could kind of grow up together. That might bite us in the butt later uh, when they get older, but for now, um, it's really nice having them so close in age. But, so that's Little Biscuit. Like I said, she would probably fall asleep. She would. Um, okay, so that is kind of like the big thing in the personal life. Um, on the channel, um, or everything going on with Inside the Hem, the channel, the business, everything that it is now, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to every single person that came and met me and said hello in Raleigh. I was there for the original Sewing and Quilt Expo. I got to meet and talk to a lot of you guys in class, but sometimes we were just passing each other on the escalator. And they would be like, love your channel. So anybody who said anything, came to my meet and greet, came and took a class, whatever it was, I just wanted to give you a huge thank you. That weekend was so much fun and I had such a great time seeing all of you guys in person. So that was a lot of fun. As for my sewing, you guys are probably eager to hear everything that I have bought. Um, so we have the Sew Together 21 pattern for September is the Sinclair Patterns Daisy Top. So I purchased that. Um, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about the Daisy pattern in the like dedicated Sew Together 21 video, but obviously I did buy that pattern. I am not buying the fabric for it though because my goal is to sew those patterns from my stash. And because the Daisy is like, a lightweight drapey situation. I have plenty of those fabrics. Um, so I'll be using that for the Sew Together 21. Um, we also have the big September Sew Along um, coming up this month, McCall's 8218. I did buy fabric for that. Have I already lost it? Nope, it's right here, hold on. Again, I will be telling you guys a lot, a lot more about the pattern, the fabric, everything that you need for that pattern as part of the Sew Along, but quick sneak peek. This is what I got, kind of like a marble tie-dye-ish in this really pretty like purpley gray, gray purple tone. 
Um, it's French terry, so I'm gonna have a French terry jumpsuit. Uh, maybe not the most conventional choice. I will have lots of other options for you guys to choose from when we start talking about fabrics in the video, but I wanted to do something that I knew would be like super, super comfortable. I went online, like, Companies are making <laughs> jumpsuits from French Terry and they look really, really cool. If you know of the brand Lou and Gray from Loft, it's owned by the whole Ann Taylor mega brand, um, they would do something like this. And I, I think Lou and Gray is great quality. I think, you know, it looks really good, very comfortable, um, but still chic. So that's kind of what I am going for. And if it's comfortable enough for a hoodie, it's gotta be comfortable enough for a jumpsuit, am I right? Um, so I got that. I also bought up the new Love Notions pattern. It's the Tempo, right? Love Notions Tempo, is it over here? Is this it? No. I got it printed on the um, tissue paper from Sublime Graphics though. I have a coupon code for Sublime Graphics if you wanna get your PDF patterns, your large format patterns printed on tissue paper, but I got the Tempo dress um, just because it was really cute and I love the Love Notions patterns and you know, I wanted to support them during a pattern release. Um, so I got that. Um, I also got this really great rayon jersey knit from, rayon cotton jersey, I think, from Stylemaker Fabrics. It's from Moda. Um, if you know of Moda's jersey knit that has that rayon blended in it, it is a really, really nice fabric. I loved working with it, um, but I got that to make August's Sew Together pattern, which was the Made for Mermaids Alana dress. So I did actually do quite a bit of shopping. I actually went to Goodwill as well, mostly because I got the Cricut Maker 3. Very exciting. I'll be sharing you guys a lot about that coming up. Don't you worry. But now that I have four machines, Maker 3, Original Maker, Explore Air 2, and The Joy. I needed like a better organizing system. Um, so I don't know if you can tell that there's been some changes in the thing behind me. There used to be like another cabinet like here and I took that out, turned it on its side, and then I went to Goodwill to see if they had like a shoe rack or some kind of shelving unit. Even I would have even bought like a full-on bookcase. I don't know how I would have gotten it home, but um, just to get all of those organized and in a place where I can just set them up and use them like where they are. Um, so that's why I was at Goodwill. But of course, while I was there, I had to like run through the little like, you know, the place where they have the, um, there's a bug crawling across my ceiling, um, where they have like the sheets and the blankets and everything else. So I ended up finding this like oatmeal, um, knit fitted sheet. Um, it's small though. I think it's maybe for like a twin. Um, and I got it just, you know, as wearable muslin, um, or to make like a, a quick little t-shirt or tank top from, you know, it's $2. So I figured this would be really good for just either muslining or just making something that's just, you know, real quick and easy. So, oh, here's a Love Notions pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere. Love Notions Tempo Sundress, they were calling it. I don't know what I said earlier but the Tempo Sundress. So um, that is what I bought. And if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know that normally I would jump into my rapid fire, but I wanted to start adding something new, a new little segment to our Let's Chat video, if you will. And that is the YouTuber Spotlight. So I know that there are so many amazing creators here on YouTube and the struggle to get seen on YouTube is very difficult. So I thought I would find some of these like smaller channels, maybe they just started or um, maybe they just don't have a huge following, but they deserve one because they're amazing and they're doing a great job. So I'm gonna be starting to highlight one of them every single month in the Let's Chat video. Today, well, kicking things off is Megan G Makes. Do you guys know her? She lives in Canada. She has the most soothing, relaxing voice. It's like the complete opposite of mine. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. she's like very even keeled, but still does a really great job of like explaining everything and really easy to understand terms. She's obviously a very talented sewist. She sews for herself as well as for her sons. Like I could not keep that up, but she has, it's just so relaxing and just, you know, 
easy, easy, easy watching. Um, she's made a lot of really cute clothes. Like I said, she does stuff for herself as well as her kids. So if you're into kids clothes, I think she has a boy and a girl, maybe multiples of that. But um, so she's sewing boy clothes and girl clothes and stuff for herself. So she's kind of just got it all going on. But if you would go give Megan's channel a good old subscribe, let her know that I sent you and we can start kind of sharing some of the love here on what I feel like is our very little small part of YouTube, but it's there and it's growing. More and more of you are starting your own YouTube channels dedicated to sewing and I just absolutely love it. The more the merrier in my opinion. So go say hi to Megan for me. Now, before we get into rapid fire, I just want to say I love when you guys answer the rapid fire questions as well. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is one of my favorites because I feel like we're all like hanging out and catching up together. So the rapid fire questions are what you're watching, what you're reading, your latest obsession, and something new that you're trying. So uh, head to the comment section and answer one or all of those. Again, what you're watching, what you're reading, something you knew you're trying and what you are obsessed with. That way we can kind of all just like, you know, feed off of each other and all the new and exciting things we have going on. But rapid fire, what I am watching. So I did a thing this past month. I cut the cord, officially, officially cut the cord, called the cable company, said, turn it all off. I don't want it anymore. And I am someone who has the TV on from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. I'm not always watching it, but it is always on something in the background. So um, now that I don't have sort of, I had live, it's complicated. I had this live TV thing called Lowcast. They got into some kind of like trouble with the law <laughs> and had to like just shut down like all of a sudden out of nowhere. So I'm waiting for one of those like, you know, a, a, HD, HD, I don't know what any, antenna, antenna, I don't know what anything is called, an HD antenna so that I can just get the local channels. If I just have like NBC, ABC, all that, like I'm set. The rest of the stuff I can stream, even if it's a day later, I don't mind. But I do like watching the, like the Today Show, for example, while it's airing. Like I don't want to watch yesterday's Today Show. So I'm waiting for that to come. But in the meantime, um, I've been watching a lot of the Magnolia Network. I've mentioned before that I kind of binged the whole um, Fixer Upper, the new Fixer Upper, but also that show called Homework. Or Have you guys seen that? They are renovating, they are a, a blended family. So she had three sons, he had three sons, they met, got married and had a baby girl. So now they have nine people in their family and they are like, people who are really into history and preser preservation and all of that kind of stuff. So in their town in Utah, they're like renovating houses like normal, like you would normally see on HGTV or whatever. But this whole show is dedicated to their renovation of this old schoolhouse, 20,000 square feet, and so many original details either still left or they're like replicating. I mean, these people are dedicated to the authenticity of what like a 1907 home would have looked like but they're doing it and designing it in a way that's also very livable and very modern they did this thing if you've seen it you know what I'm talking about with this painting in their foyer that truly like gave me chills it was so 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 cool they put a ball pit in their living room or in their den so it is a combination of like all that history, but they're not super precious about it. They have thousands, thousands, thousands of dollars worth of antiques, but also a ball pit. Um, so I've been loving that show, but better than that show, I binged it in like 24 hours is Cruel Summer. Okay, who has seen Cruel Summer? That show is so addicting. <laughs> you cannot just watch one and come back to it. Like you're pulled in instantly and they keep you the whole time. Um, and then you have to watch to the last second to get the whole story. It is so good. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, you have to go watch it. It's just one, se one season so far, but it's like that kind of season where it all ends and then if they do another season, it'll be a whole different storyline, I think. 
um but it's like takes place in the 90s so there was like all that stuff that was kind of cool and like over the course of three summers and they go back and forth and it's just so well done like so 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 good so that gets my vote probably one of my most favorite things I've watched all year truthfully um so go check out Cruel Summer if you haven't already um, and then what I'm reading. Okay, so I finished Maud, uh, Who is Maud Dixon? A, a really good book by Alexandra Andrews. And I liked it because it was kind of like that suspenseful book, but I didn't see the twist. And normally I can always predict the twist because I've read a ton of books like this. I watch true crime and listen to true crime podcasts. And so it's, you know, but this twist I did not see coming. It's like twist on twist on twist on twist. It keeps twisting. Um, and in a way that like makes sense. It's not like twisting for the sake of twisting. It's twisting and you're like, yeah, I see what you did there. That's really cool. So I enjoyed that book very much. Right now I am reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved um, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo that Taylor wrote. And so I thought I would give, it's been enough time, you know, sometimes when you read one author back to back, it's, I don't know, too much of the same, but it's been enough time. So I thought I'd give another book of hers a try. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's not super suspenseful. It's really just like a drama. Um, but what's cool is that she will have like little itty bitty references to books and characters and places within those books um, from the past. And just little, little references where you're just like, oh, okay, I see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that same magazine or, oh, she just mentioned that famous actress. Like, so in a, even though they're not taking place at the same time or anything, there's, there's a thread that kind of goes through all of them. So I thought that's really cute how she does that. Um, my latest obsession, honestly, you guys, has been this channel. I'm not sure if you have noticed, but there's been a couple of changes. Um, one is my like channel art. Um, spent a lot of time on that, uh, but I feel like it's a little bit more representative of me and my personality. I also removed the intro. There's not going to be an intro anymore. Um, and really just kind of like studying, um, YouTube a lot and really trying to figure this thing out. I mean, obviously like I'm doing well with it. Um, but I know that I could be doing better. So I'm putting in the work and it is a lot of work. Um, but just really, really trying to give it my all. And hopefully you guys will see that and support some of the changes that are coming or that have already come and just, you know, come along with me on the ride. Cause that is what it is. Well, you know, we're buckled into this roller coaster one way or another. Well, you can get off cause you can just unsubscribe, but I can't really get off. Like this is it for me. <laughs> so I'm on it. Um, I also finished, and I probably should have mentioned this like earlier in the video, but I also finished the Ultimate Garment Sewing Guide of Guides. So I've had this idea forever to make all these different guides, little bits of information, little tips and things that I have learned along the way and, and compile them all together into one guide. And it's 100% free to you guys. Um, just sort of like my gift to you, I guess. So I just want people to love sewing. <laughs> it's really all it comes down to. And there's a link in the description box where you can download the guide for free. Yay. Um, also, as you're probably wondering, like, how is she getting all this done? That's what I'm trying this month. So I got this new app called Fabulous. And it's like this productivity helper. Um, you basically go in and you can set it up um, for it to notify you morning, noon, morning, afternoon, and evening. And then you put in like different tasks that you wanna do at each point in the day. So for me, working from home and doing a job where like I don't have a lot of things scheduled. Do you know what I mean? Like. It's just, I get up and I just do what I do and then that's that. And so if I'm not keeping track of certain things or if I'm not focused on something every single day, it will inevitably fall by the wayside. A lot of that happens to be like housework. So um, for me, my morning routine is to take my vitamins because I was forgetting to do that, make my bed every single day. I'm pretty good at that even without the help, but this is just like, it puts it all in one. You know what I mean? Uh, brushing my teeth, I put that in there, and 10 minutes of housework. Do you know how much housework you can get done 
if you just set a timer for 10 minutes, like a lot, like, like a lot, a lot. So it's really great because it just sends you a quick little notification. I, I stop everything I'm doing. Like, even if I'm in the middle of something, I'm like, nope, this is my time. It's almost like a personal time. It's almost like, you know, um, time for me because I know if I do all of these things, I feel so good. So it tracks it for you. Obviously you check off all the things, which is like rewarding. And then they, like, if you do them so many days in a row, you know, you get these badges and there's, you know, then there's like some a little bit kind of like hokey stuff where they talk about breathing and, or like while you're doing your tasks, you can choose for them to play this like music that's really like calming and peaceful. So it can be a little bit like, okay, but at its core in terms of like helping me check off all the things I want to do repeatedly every single day, it has been really, really great. It is a paid app. I want to say it was like $40 for the year. So instead of doing a monthly thing, it was like $40 for the year. And I just thought that that was worth it because if you're more productive, I'll make that $40 back one way or another in no time. You know what I mean? I, that's how I was able to justify it. Plus how much is like peace of mind worth? You know what I mean? So I've really been loving that app. So that's the new thing that I have been trying this month. I'll link it in the description box also for you guys. All right. So what to expect this month? So September is national sewing month. Yay. It's like our month. I just feel, I don't know. It's like our time to shine. <laughs> Um, so I'm doing the sew along, obviously the McCall's 8218 sew along. You guys will start seeing that here really shortly. Episode zero is going up and then the whole thing kicks off on the 14th through the 21st, taking that weekend off. Um, so go ahead and grab the pattern. It's not on sale this month at Joanne. So you have to pay like the 15 bucks or whatever, but, um, some people, you might already have it in your stash. Um, I also have two skill pop classes. These are for beginner sewists, like the the intro to sewing machines, sewing machine basics or whatever it's called is like, let's unbox your sewing machine. Like, how do you turn it on? Where does the needle go? How do you thread it? It's very, very basic. So if you have anybody in your life that's been begging you to teach them how to sew, just send them to this class. <laughs> just say, Lindsay will teach you. Then you come back to me and we can sew together. Um, and then the week after that, I always follow up Machine Basics class with a project ideal for beginners. So this month we're gonna make infinity scarves. How cute, right? Um, so check out either one of those. If you want to make an infinity scarf, if you know anyone who's wanting to learn how to sew, send them there. I'll leave the links in the description box as always. I just hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I have been doing these chat videos for quite some time now. So if you want to watch more of them, I have linked them here in the end screen. If you're on mobile, check the description box for a link. And that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.